Shalom and welcome to Simits of Torah. This year is entitled The Memory of a Young Giant of Eitam Hankin Zechat Tzadik Levracha. We have Rav Hankin from uh, the States in the 1950s, was very close with Rav Moshe Feinstein, a true colleague of Rav Moshe Feinstein, famous Ezra's Torah Institutions in Lua. That was all Rav Hankin from the States from the 1940s, 50s, 60s. His grandson, Yehuda Herzl Hankin. And his son, which is a great grandson from the Gadol, was of Eitam Hankin. Of Eitam Hankin, he was killed a couple of years ago by terrorists here in Israel, beginning of that whole uh, intifada that happened a few years back. Well, the knife intifada on his was death was came through the machine guns. And it was actually a few years ago. Why am I just mentioning him now? Because we've been learning the sugya about bugs, checking foods, fruits, vegetables for bugs. And he has a sefer called Lachem Yel Achla. And reading through the sefer, you realize that this young giant, he was in the 30s when he was killed. Young, young man. And he was an up-and-coming gadol. I could say that, I think, without exaggeration. He was heading to stardom like his father and great-grandfather, heading to great, great places. You see that he took every single sugya when it came, when it comes to the kashras of uh, vegetables and fruits and bugs and how to go ahead and have what I call a very balanced approach. Follow halacha, but din, din. And you go ahead and start being more machmi than the din requires. Often you can have a chumrah that may be the day cool. The chumrah is going to lead to a, stringency is going to lead to a leniency. And he's aiming for din. He respectfully challenges other people that have written about this topic, and he thinks that certain stringencies are not in place. Halachala ma'isa, what one should do by checking fruits and vegetables, that is not for now. Everyone should talk to their posate. But you see from his scholarship, encyclopedic knowledge, this person was a giant, heading to be a great giant in Klai Yisrael. It's only a few years after he was killed that I could begin to appreciate how great he was. Uh, I think a tremendous tribute one can have in his memory would be to go through the Hamiel Achla. It's not a quick read. A person can have a Havrus an hour a day if he wants to study this work of uh, bugs and foods and Halach and how to deal with it in an hour a day for a year and really go through this book properly. It would be tremendous cover to as he can his memory and also be it's a tremendous Limud as well. Yes, Hashem, his memory should just serve as a blessing. Shalom.